Hey everybody, Mark Spectre Comics and I'm back. This time I got my first CBCS graded manga. If you're interested in seeing what's inside this package, stay tuned for that intro. All right guys, welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Like I said, I got my first graded manga. Who's not excited for that? Come on guys, let's go. Let's go. All right. So a little backstory on this. Um, I bought my, uh, you might have seen it in the short I did a little while ago. I um, picked up a, a manga from Japan. This is a first printing. Ended up uh, sending it sealed just like it was. Uh, right to CBCS to their Beckett uh, you know, house to get graded. And um, went on their website, filled out the form. It was pretty easy to do. It's a, a Tonkaban, I believe is how you pronounce it. Um, the type of uh, manga. There's like two major types. The uh, larger ones like the, the uh, Shonen Jumps, they can't grade yet because they don't have that sized uh, uh, slab yet. But the smaller ones, like I showed uh, previously, uh, they, they're grading. So um, ended up sending that over. Didn't get it pressed or anything like that. Just sent it as is. You know, it was sealed. I figured it was going to be in rather nice shape. But I just wanted to see what it looked like in the slab itself. Um, so let's open it up and uh, see what we got. See how it looks. What the grade is. You know, the typical stuff we do when we unbox some graded books. All right. And I'd say this is a huge, huge package for uh <laughs> for a one graded book so uh they did a really good job you know packaging this all right All right, here we go. Look at that. Tons of bubble wrap. This might be the part where I fast forward. Here we go. We're getting there. We're getting there. So what, what gravitated me to uh, get this book graded, um, I just wanted to, you know, try it out and see what, uh, I, I like to read some mangas on, on occasion. Um, I've been reading a lot of the uh, uh, Pokemon ones to my son. He has, I think, one or two. And, um, you know, so it's not like something I just randomly decided to do. I, I do read uh, manga, you know, from time to time. And... Uh, I was really interested in uh, grading this book particularly because it's a, it's a bit of a historical book. You know, well, the story it, itself is from, uh, it, it ties to history. So I'm like a kind of a, a big history buff guy. Um, so real excited to uh, show this book off. All right, so here we go. Dang, this thing's huge. All right. So uh, let's show off the book. Here's the book. You may have remembered it from last time. It's called um, Town of Evening Calm, um, Country of Cherry Blossoms. So if you're familiar with cherry blossoms, it originated from Japan. Um, it has ties to World War II, basically. Uh, a family depicting their life, their story, post-apocalyptic, you know, post dropping of the atomic bomb uh, not apocalypse but you know you know what i'm saying post um atomic bomb so uh, that's why i wanted to get this graded it has a lot of you know historical uh you know sense to me and i like doing that stuff so uh that that really ties into you know my passion which is history and um the sciences so um let's see the grade and i'll show you the slab all right here we go boom let's get this out of the uh 
out of the case, out of the sleeve. Wow, look at that thing. 9.6, that is cool. And it has it um, obviously in Japanese. I just read it to you in English, which was the uh, town of evening calm, country of cherry blossoms. So it says Yunagi, Numashi, Sakura, Nukuni. Uh, apologies if, <laughs> if I'm uh, uh, reading that incorrectly. Um, number one, Xenon Comics DX looks like uh, May of 2022. New edition, first printing. Uh, cover art and story by Kono Fumio. Um, Reprints Yunagi no Mashisukuro no Kuni from Weekly Manga Action. So, like I said, got 9.6 um, white pages. And it also notated there in the front, uh, dust jacket, uh, 9.8. Um, I went with this, uh, if I get this glare out of the way, apologies, holy crap. Uh, I went with the um, Cherry Blossoms uh, label. So I, I figured that would tie nicely with the book. Um, it actually, the label itself, if I can uh, get rid of this terrible glare. Give me a second. <clears throat> there we go. The label is beautiful. Look at that. And I'll show you the back. Obviously the back has the uh, cherry blossoms on the back cover. Um, the back label just says Beckett, nothing else. And it has the um, little barcode there. Uh, no QR code, which is a little too bad. I wish, I wish they, um, if I'm gonna be critical about the slab, I wish they had the QR code in the back like they traditionally do on the, um, uh, the current C CBCS slabs. Um, as for the slab itself, look how thick that thing is. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> that is incredible. Like, wow. It's a nice, thick, like I'm, I'm squeezing it. You don't hear any of that typical, uh, you know, pressure noise that you would get on a CGC slab. Obviously it's a significantly more, uh, thicker slab that, uh, that I've ever, you know, had. And, um, the inner, the inner, well, it just, it just looks like it just sits right in there there's no wiggle uh whatsoever and um they did a really nice job just putting it in there and um you know it's not it's not slanted it's not bent you know not like the uh the current issues that uh cgc are uh, are having with their books which i'm you know a little worried sending my uh tmnt ronin which i'm going to be sending that off <laughs> in the mail tomorrow but uh, nonetheless, uh, it looks it looks great. Uh, really nice. Obviously, the grade is a plus two, being a nine point six. So that's pretty cool. I don't know what the census is for this book. It, I'm assuming it's probably the only one graded, uh, and likely because it's the only one graded, it is going to be the highest grade. Ah, see, I didn't even notice at the top. Okay, see, look at that. I'm discovering stuff as I go. They also at the top tell you the label is of the uh, they notate the the book itself on the top. That is a pretty cool feature that no slab to my knowledge does, um, and it has the uh, barcode there. So um, that is pretty cool. I like that. It says basically the same stuff as it does here on the front label. The only uh, difference it has is the um, the serial number for the actual, um, you know, grading information on there. And if I'm going to be fair, I do like the uh, number, the numbering, like the, um, uh, the, just like how the size of it presents in the, the label itself. That actually looks far better than uh, what I've seen in any of the uh, CBCS uh, slabs. It's a good size to the actual label. And uh, even the uh, the B in the Beckett looks pretty nice too. It has that little shine as well. So that's pretty cool. I, I To be fair, I, it is a really nice and sturdy slab. I, at least, you know, noticing it quickly from now, like 
from the unboxing, I don't see any major um, defaults in the slab itself. There is a little, I don't know what this is, but probably where they they close the case itself, there's a little bit of a, you can see that there, but uh, that's probably how, where they closed it. I have no clue. I don't know how these, these slabs are made, but um, there's no scuffing on the slab itself. Everything looks really sharp. So that's, hey, for a manga, like, you know, new slabs, completely new design. Um, I, I give them an A. This is a, this is a really solid slab. And if they could take some of these pointers from the manga slab and, you know, maybe incorporate it a little bit to uh, their traditional comic slab, they got a really good product here, um, to be fair. And the labels, fantastic. One of the nicest looking labels, uh, to be fair, that I've seen. So uh, let me know your thoughts. Um, quick unboxing. Uh, you know, went a little bit into detail just because I... You know, it's a new new product for me, you know, new uh, new slab, little review on it, um, shared my thoughts. Let me know if in the comments down below, have you graded any of your manga books? Does this make you want to grade any of your, any of your manga books? Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you read manga at all. <laughs> you know, write some comments down below just to let me know you actually watched the video. Um, if you did, as usual, thumbs up, subscribe. All the fun things. Until next time, out.